Hey, y'all, it's J May. We're back with the MotorTech Thor scooter here. And today we're going to talk, be talking about waterproofing. Uh, light waterproofing, not completely waterproofing, but making it better than what it is. So uh, what I've done is I've removed the screws from my deck here. Uh, we're going to go and pop this out. Put this aside for now. Uh, here's the battery. Uh, these are the motor controllers. I need to put this back. Um... Anyways, uh, if it's wet or it's running outside, uh, you're going to get water here, and it's going to ingress into here, um, which will cause the battery to swell or possibly be damaged or the motor controller. So we don't want that happening. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take some acetone, just kind of wipe this down, get any sort of the Chinese tool oil off this thing, uh, and whatnot, just to make a better seal. And what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to take... Um, some RTV silicone and basically just make a, a small bead along the outside edge here. This seems to be like the speed day for everybody right now. It's going really fast down my neighborhood. Alright, so wipe that down real quick, just kind of get all the all the schmuck off it. Same thing with the other side. Let's get all that all that junk off there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of silicone um, right along this edge here and then up to this edge here. We don't need really to be concerned about up here. We might put some up here just so the holes have some silicone in them so they're sealed better. But other than that, we're just going to leave that section alone. So I'm using uh, gray, which is the only one I have right now. You can use the regular orange. Uh, or any other sort of RT silicone. You put, you can even probably it, uh, end up using a uh, house silicone, but that's going to be super sticky. So if you do have to get into your deck, you might have problems coming back later to get it off. All right, so you don't need a thick layer, so I would hope not. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go put a bead all the way down. I'm a little too fast on that. Or my silicone's old enough that it's clogging up. Well, good enough. So we're going to do this. And it looks like I might need another bead on this, actually. Yeah, that's probably not going to be nearly enough. So let me get one more round on this here. If I can get this thing to... Get it clogged in on this. Oh. Oh. That should be plenty right there. Goodness gracious. Squeeze the tube, the tube so hard that the back end blew out. I'm trying not to make a mess here, but I've kind of already done that. Something so easy, and then you make a big old mess. Anyways, uh, almost done here. And then uh, two little dobs up here for the uh, screw hole up here. Just enough to kind of get it in the threads. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put the deck back on. Trying not to make a mess. in real quick and then get the screws tightened down so uh that's pretty much about it for this video um so hopefully, hopefully this will help you guys out um if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below like subscribe share and as always guys do your thing thanks for watching